I've just sent up another bill, a revised bill that really does some really neat and great stuff for our people in our state that are really struggling. It's a, it's a bill that shows a 6.5% consumer sales tax and some version of personal income tax reform or, 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 or and some version of personal income tax reduction. But it also has a component to it to where the lower and the next to the lower income tax brackets will get a rebate check in addition to their reduction in income tax. The lowest bracket will get a $150 rebate check and the next bracket will get a $100 rebate check in addition to the reduction in income tax that they'll be reflected in a 5% reduction. Now this is it. If we're not able to get this through, basically what's going to happen is terrible things. Big cuts. Big cuts to DHHR. Big cuts to our universities. Big cuts to through, uh, for K through 12. It's not going to be good for a lot of people. We're going to hurt our teachers. We're going to hurt our minors. We're going to hurt a lot, a lot of people that we don't need to be hurting. Now, I don't know for whatever the reason we haven't been able to compromise and to get there, but we haven't so far. Now, I'll give it that we're trying, but there's a lot of people here at this great body that are really only here looking for your vote, and we need to do better. We need to do better than that. They need to be looking for what's great for West Virginia. In addition to that, with the budget that I'm proposing, we have significant money to be able to do something to market ourselves, tourism dollars, to bring great people to our state, and not only that, roads and jobs and hope and the extinguishing of this terrible drug epidemic. All that's at play, plus being able to help our miners, being able to do something that will help the companies that are struggling the most and mining very marginal coal that still brings us severance tax dollars. Tiering, tiering of severance tax to where if things are good, we make a lot more money in this state. If things are really bad, we help our companies keep our miners working. Now there's a lot here for a lot of people. The bottom line is it doesn't hurt us. It doesn't cut any deeper. What's at play is just really just that. You know, basically, the, the poor are going to get an extra rebate check. There's going to be a 5% reduction in, sale, in, 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 in income tax. And as we move forward, we're going to trigger so we will have an absolute insurance policy that our state can't get hurt by the lowering of income tax. Now, we need you. We need you to step up, call your legislators, bombard them with phone calls saying, go with justice's plan. If we don't, we're going to all lose. We're going to do the same old, same old, kick the can down the road, be dead last, not market ourselves, lose all kinds of jobs. Now, there's a lot at stake here. We've got all the good people that are around you everywhere and we got to do something. We got to do something right now. Or even more innocent are really going to get hurt. What are we going to do if we have to shut down the government? Can you imagine the retirees or the people that are government workers that aren't going to be able to pay their bills and not going to know where to turn? I'm telling you, we are at a crossroads here of doing something great for our state and we need you. We need everyone to step up and let their voice be heard Time's running out. We need to hear your voice right now.